Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Didi, I'm asking you to be or not to be. Today, a cool video, a TA video. I wanted to do a walk and talk. It's really windy and really hot outside, so I can't do the walk and talk because of the noise. I still need to do something, a mic setup that uh, filters all the uh, wind. Uh, but I'm going to talk about the subject that I wanted to talk about during the walk and talk, but also three charts. Those three charts are the most important charts at the moment to look at, but the message that I'm gonna tell you after those three charts is way more important. So let's quickly jump into uh, the first charts and show you what I'm talking about. That is the first chart, guys. I'm gonna zoom out directly. I'm not gonna zoom in at all today. Uh, we can see on the first chart that we are looking at the day chart. And that chart we've been looking already at like for months now. And I've told you that orange line will be the line of resistance you go because we saw the huge um, support over there before we broke it so we are creating resistance to calculate the amount of support the day the candles over here that was in total 33 days that we were finding support before we before we broke it now how long have we been fighting this line? We have been fighting only for 17 days. If we fight it for 33 days, it would take all the way till April 21st. Just to give you an opinion on how long it can take before these levels are being broken. I drew the yellow line some time ago already. I said, okay, if we break it, we'll go to the dotted line up there and it will be 33,000. Probably come back and retest that level again of 28 and then again go up and maybe even to 40K somewhere in that area. If we can't break this, and we will fall down and we will fall down first to that green upcoming line over there and then try it probably again and maybe then even lower here to the 25k before we try it again many possibilities always in bitcoin uh, but what i want to show you now in the next two charts is why you should be buying now no matter it's 28 or it's 35 or it's 25 you should be buying now and i'm going to show you with two charts exactly why that is and it is these two Bam, charts. This is the first one. This chart is showing you the fear and greed. Um, I will put my face down here in the bottom so you can see the glass note uh, chart. You can see the 2019 rally. That was the rally from 3k to 15k that went from orange to green to blue. Blue was the top of that 14k rally. Then we have that huge uh, uh, bear market over there, of course, that we know him. Huh? That's orange reddish. That's when we told you guys, okay, when we go out of the red, we need to buy again. And then bam, we got greenish and bluish again, the bull market. Here, after we had that uh, collapse, the huge bear market last time, we told you we are deeply red, but the moment we go into orange, into this phase, you should be accumulating. A lot of you did. A lot of you bought around 20k, 19k, 18k, which is perfect. Now we're already going into that green period. Is this going to be the same run that we saw in 2019? The rally, short-term rally, all the way up to, for example, now 40k, so short-term rally all the way up to there and then come down again? Or is this already the beginning of the 2022, uh, 2021 bull uh, uh, period that we saw over there? And is that now going to start here? For me, it's still this short-term rally, maybe to 40k, retest 30 to 25k, and then go into the halving and then do that second huge bull run. But whatever it is, for me, we are only going up from this moment. So I would be buying at this level. I would even be buying at 40k. I would even be buying at 25k. I don't care. I just want to buy them because I know that Bitcoin will be going higher than these levels of 70k over there so that's doubling tripling or quadrupling your capital and if you want to ask me bam is this the right moment to buy then we go into the discharge this chart is a very important chart as well i found this one on trading view it's the bitcoin production cost and it's just showing you that whenever the bitcoin price touches the bottom line of the cost that is the moment you should be buying because that is just before the bull run when we touch the bottom line of that band that's the moment you should be buying because that is when the bull run started here again we came down there was a 2019 run this was the crash here again we went in but we never came down below or touched that line again only here in that COVID crash now we can see now exactly the same we are touching that bottom here it's a zoomed in version that's the FTX fraud bam we went into the bottom here bam we retested that bottom what do you think that will happen after you test that bottom twice? We tested it twice. 
Here we tested it one, yet we tested it two times. Here we tested it a few times. So from that moment on, we will be building into a bull run, guys. And to show you even more important why I think that's happening, because bam, over here on this beautiful chart, the one that I love the most is uh, this one. Here you can see that 2023 really is a banking crisis, guys. Uh, why? Look, 389 billion dollars in withdrawals this is the monthly change this is the monthly change in bank deposits from 1973 to 2023 we have never seen since 73 till this year so much negative withdrawals that's a huge amount people start to understand that the banking system is collapsing and you should understand as well make sure the biggest part of your capital is safe in a store of value like bitcoin or gold or real estate it doesn't really matter matter which one that you choose in my opinion everyone has their own choice but it should be in a thing that i'm going to talk about right now now let's quickly put my normal face back on the screen a little bit bigger over there and go back to the charts here and i will put the bitcoin family on the back now the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is very simple. It's about wealth, education, economics, all that stuff. So every time again and again, we see the same cycle. And I have seen that cycle now twice since 2013. That's why I went all in. That is also why I convinced my brother and sister to go all in at exactly the perfect moment of the cycle. They sold their house at the top of the housing market and they bought Bitcoin around the bottom between 21 and 16K. A dollar cost average into Bitcoin at the perfect time. We know that in 2024 the halving is coming. We know that in 2024 also the elections in the United States are coming. After a new president, the economy mostly goes up again. Because we had these terrible years now, and then the new president is there to save everything, and then bam, the economy explodes again. The halving also drives Bitcoin up every time and again and again because the miner need to break even on their cost of mining. And they can only break even if the Bitcoins are more valuable when they sell them. They can't break even if the Bitcoins go down in value because they are mining half of the amount of Bitcoins they've been half mining those four uh, previous years. So they will be mining the half of the amount of Bitcoins the next four years, so they can't mine more Bitcoins because that's not possible, that's built in. But in my opinion, till that moment, that halving moment in April 2024, Q3 and Q4 of this year will lead to more unemployment, will lead to more debts, will lead to the whole middle class being fucking wiped out, as that is the goal. They are going to wipe out the middle class. You will have rich and you will have poor, and there will be nothing in between. And who do you think that will be in control? The rich. And why? That's what we're going to talk about now. Because the middle class and the normal people, they are worrying about a Great Depression. They are thinking there will be a huge Great Depression, a second Great Depression. I don't believe we are going to go into a Great Depression. We will go and transition into a new centralized monetary system that will probably coexist with a decentralized monetary system. But that centralized monetary system, that is exactly the system that I am here to tell you that is the fucked up one that wants to destroy your wealth and, and that will make you a slave in a digital prison. That's combined the two worst things ever in our existence, slavery and prison, that combined in a digital monetary system. That is what they are creating for you. But they need to break down the old to build better in the future. Build back better, do you remember? So what are they doing? They are destroying the middle class, which will lead into more uh, unemployment, which will lead to people being completely dependent of governments and banks. And then the, the banks and the governments, they had the whole system crashing and then they will be, ah, but we have something new that will save our lives. And that new one that is called Central Bank's Digital Currency, and they will present it to you as a solution. This is your new life. It's going to give you everything that you always dreamt of. But you need to listen to us. And but you will be completely in this digital social credit system that we control. 
that will the only that will be the only way to receive state support and all that stuff. Central banks, digital currency. You know the drill. They are cre- going to create fear because everybody is going to go bankrupt. The companies are going to go bankrupt. They will pretend it's a huge depression or crisis. No, they all know what they are doing. They're just doing this to take more control, and they want to take more control through all the steps that I just talked about. Now, for me. Bitcoin will seem very and very interesting now to many countries and people that don't want to be victim of the fuck up that governments and banks have created in the last decades. I think more and more people are waking up and understanding how can these banks collapse everything every time? How can that every time happen in the same way? Because they are incapable retards that don't even know what they do. The only thing they know what to do is how to fill their own pockets. They don't give a fuck about you. And that is why I believe fully in Bitcoin. That is the first time there will be a completely decentralized monetary system possible that gives access to everyone. Nobody is able to completely control it. It's just not possible if all of you now start buying Bitcoin. Then there won't be enough Bitcoin for them to take control. For me, that Bitcoin will be more and more interesting to countries and people that that really understand the power of Bitcoin. You already see it happening in El Salvador, Central Africa, I think Brazil, Argentina, all these countries will follow because they don't want to depend on the US dollar anymore. And that is exactly what we see playing out now. The BRICS countries, China, Russia, Brazil, they are not going to do export of their oils or anything else for US dollars anymore. People are abandoning the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is losing their power. That's why Trump even said yesterday, we are destroying our own U.S. dollar. They are killing the U.S. dollar. And they want to kill it because that's how they kill the middle class and that's how they kill the normal people and that's how they, and then again, become the beautiful hero by introducing a central bank's digital currency and maybe even give you a monthly income to just be obedient to the system. That's not my future and also not the future I want to see for my children. That is why I am in Bitcoin. So for me, the only assets that you should be investing in in this unsecure and unstable time are those assets that the government or the banks can't print more of. Yes, that is, for example, gold and maybe for some of you real estate, but definitely Bitcoin. All those assets that can't be printed by the government or the banks will outperform all of the rest. And yes, I said gold and real estate as well because I know a lot of you just really like gold and real estate. And I do think that will outperform uh, many other printable assets that the government can print, like the dollar, but they will be outperformed massively by Bitcoin. And that is what I talked about in the beginning, the cycle. Bitcoin is at that moment in the cycle the four-year cycle at the bottom phase. Now, in my opinion, you should sell your house and everything else, go all into Bitcoin, write that two-year bull market to 225, and from that moment, yes, you could exit Bitcoin a little bit to stable coins and diversify the assets into maybe your real estate, maybe your gold, whatever you want to buy. But now is not the good moment because Bitcoin is going to outperform all of these assets. So I would always bet on Bitcoin at the moment. That will be growing explosively in the next two years. And then you take your shitload of profits and then you diversify, yes, into maybe real estate or gold. If you want to do that. I will repeat that cycle again and again and again. I will take my profits at the top. I will sell into stable coins. Maybe it's not even the USDT anymore then because there is no dollar. We don't know yet. But it will be a stable coin. Maybe it's a gold-backed stable coin or an oil-backed stable coin. I will sell it with that stable coin, wait for Bitcoin to crash and buy Bitcoin again and run that cycle again and again and again. Bitcoin and all other assets that can't be printed by governments or banks are a safe haven at the moment. There is too much turmoil in the economy. There is too much shit shows, wars, debts, crises and everything going on that I don't trust my capital to the hands of those people that created all that shit show. If you don't trust central banks and even not trust your government, why the fuck are you still holding US dollar or euro on your bank account if you don't trust those people? That is the most stupid thing I've ever seen. Why would you do that? You don't trust them. Then don't trust what they tell you about capital and about wealth because they will not educate you to become richer. They want you to be poor and obedient and that's the only way they can have full control on us as people. Not on me, but probably on a lot of people, yes. 
I am completely decentralized, no control. As long you use our currency, Bitcoin, they don't have control. The moment you use their currency, they will have full control. Now, that was everything for this short video today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about that last part of the video? Sorry I didn't do it on a beautiful beach. I would prefer to do it, but the wind is really too hot, still windy. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, see you tomorrow again. Bam.